Welcome back to Prophecy Unfolding. You know, we're in the year 2024. And if you're like me, you look to prophecy and you see the things that are happening in the world. And it's almost looking at the prophetic clock ticking away, ticking away ever so quickly to its crescendo. Jesus and some of the prophets told us the things that would happen um, coming towards the end times, coming toward the time that Jesus would return. And today I wanted to show you three major signs that Jesus spoke about would happen just before his return. Now this will be, um, to some people, eye-opening because it's so clear to what's happening, but to some will be reaffirming as well. This is to be a message of hope to anyone who is looking at prophecy and looking at the things, the dark things that are happening in the world. This will give you a sense of hope. What I'll ask you to do is to watch it in full, to get the full context, um, but also smash the like button so that someone who does not know Christ may come to the understanding of who Christ truly is and find him once and for all remember God is proven to be right all the time the first major sign Jesus spoke about we see in Matthew we see in Luke you know we talked about the in increase and in the intensity of what we call natural disasters happening in the world and what's happening right now really shows that, that sign is happening earthquakes all around the planet Earthquakes and tsunami warnings all over the world today as not just Japan, but Hawaii, Alaska, California, Yellowstone, Montana, Indonesia, the Virgin Islands, El Salvador, New Mexico, Puerto Rico, Fiji, Russia, Texas, Chile, and the Northern Mariana Islands have all experienced earthquakes in the last 24 hours as today, January 1st, 2024, the first day of the new year, it seems that the entire world is trembling. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you the latest video footage so you can see it for yourself and the tsunamis that are pouring in uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below this all hitting on the first day of 2024 and like i said you know for the purpose of the video i was only going to show a couple i could be here for hours showing you all the different things that are happening in europe strange weather events of things that normally wouldn't happen yes i believe that man can have its hand in some of the things that are happening at the moment but i also believe that at the end of the day god's judgments the things he said would happen are going to happen and man in the end can't control the things that god has called to be you know the second one and um, that we look at that's happening at the moment has really drastically changed in the last 20 35 years and something jesus spoke about many times and we see in timothy as well he spoke that in the last days something would happen that would really start to shift and show us that we're close to the return of Christ. Have a listen. That's right. I, I've got another chapter in the book where I talk about what's happening just internally in America, the moral rot mm -hmm. in our country. When people ask, when is God going to judge America? If people will read Romans 1, they'll find out really he already is. Mm. Yes. Uh, the first form of God's judgment is to give people over to their own sin. Mm -hmm. And if you read Romans 1, three times you have God gave them over, and the first giving over is to what we might call a sexual revolution. Mm -hmm. The second step there is a homosexual revolution. Wow. And then the final step is just the open encouragement of evil. So I see that we are already being judged. Now people say, well, can we turn that around? Well, none of us knows God's time timetable. You know, if there's to be a mass revival in our country, certainly there could be a turnaround. But I was talking to a friend of mine the other day about this mass revival that could come to America. And he said, well, where would the revival come from? I said, well, it would wow. come from the churches. I said, well, do you see any indication? I mean, our churches are becoming more focused on entertainment and lack of teaching the, the Bible and of doctrine. So how is that kind of a revival going to come? So, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to be some, you know, uh, pessimist about this, but his point was well taken. You know, today, more than ever, I feel that the moral decay and this whole uh, thing that's happening in society is so much more pre pre prevalent today than it would have been years ago. We're at a stage now where they're saying, you know, many things that people can identify as animals and all types of things. And people are, are kind of, you know, losing their identity and who they are and trying to kind of source something that's not real. We as believers find our identity in him and him alone. It's sad to see what's happening in the world at the moment, especially with the younger generation. 
not knowing who they are so they pass themselves off as anything now just a film like they have a special identity but the whole moral decay in society is happening at such a fast rate and um, it's almost become normal we've become known to it but even if i look back to when i was young the things that i'm seeing happening today just wouldn't have been out in the open when i was a young child growing up but you know one of the major signs that i see happening now revelation 13 talks of a system that's going to be in place and when people talk to me about end times they say that all these things could have happened but there's one in specifically in revelation 13 that only today we have the technology and here is a little sound. Right now is sort of a, an open period where they're asking the public for feedback on a central bank digital currency. Well, the answer is it's not going very well. Here at the Bank of Canada, we're exploring the possibility of issuing a digital version of cash. Not to replace cash, but to ensure Canadians always have access to a safe, stable and official payment option in an increasingly digital world. Part of being ready is hearing from you. Your input will help us make choices about the design of our digital dollar, ensuring it's convenient, easy to use, and meets your needs. So today we are the only generation that could really actually implement Revelation 13, the whole thing of the Mark of the Beast and the money system to where you need this mark in order to buy and sell. You know, up until this point, we could barter, you know, with the things that we have um, from people. But the whole push now going forward is towards digital. Now, what that means is everything can be controlled. You can see what you're spending and where it's going. Everything is going digital. Cars, everything that we see in the world are trying to change. And what that will do now is give them full control of the full infrastructure if it moves that way. But I believe that we are the generation that Jesus spoke about and that the visions that John had seen we are that specific generation. No other time in human history have we seen all of these type of science lining up together. What we need to realize is while we still have a bit of time, and this is something I always say, this is not doom and gloom. This is to make you aware of the things that are happening. But we're still alive today. We still have a chance to tell someone that Christ is the true redeemer. He is the only way. But also as we see these things unfolding before our eyes, we can still live full in Christ. We don't hide away, we don't slumber away, we still have to live. But when it comes to the rapture, many people ask, there is no sign that will supersede the rapture because I believe that could happen at any given time. But when I look at the things happening in the world, I just have a sense in my spirit that we're very close to that time period in terms of that thing could actually happen in terms of the rapture. But I believe that Christ is on his way. I believe he's putting his cloak on and he's about to come. But in the meantime, let's keep sharing the gospel. Let's keep pushing it out that people can find their identity in him and be changed and be set free it's in christ and christ alone that me and you have the ability to be able to say we're set free because of what he done not because of what we done remember regardless of all the chaos that's going on in the world god is always in control and keep the faith